Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Kindergarten. So, in the last episode, we became best friends with the only black kid in school, and he was the, I guess, the son of the principal? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he's... Uh, so in this episode, we're actually getting to go and do a completely wasted day. Well, yeah. we might get one good item, but... We have to get money, so I'm just gonna have us get a, a Monster Mon card. Yeah, we're just gonna get a Monster Mon card, and otherwise be cheap ones who want money. Give me a bunch of money. So, anything we have to do here? I'll fudge. What? What? We don't have to get the monster in my car to get through the day to get money, but it's okay. We'll work on it. Um, yeah, go talk to Monty and get the screwdriver. I'm Monty. If you need something, come talk to me. I'm sorry. What are you buying? The screwdriver. I already know what this is for, then. It's for the one in the hallway, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't need anything else. See it, kid. Also, you're gonna see him for the first time today. This yeah. is the easiest way to get out there to get the card. You're just gonna skip to lunch. Okay. Let's not find a partner. I mean, I guess the best way to, like, save up money if you want a lot of money is to do certain routes that lead you to get money, but we don't get need that Get five dollars and things? <laughs> so, who do I need to talk to to get out of here? Ooh, talk to Monty. Hello, Mr. Oom. I figured you'd be seeing me right about now. Slop's no good. I don't think anyone's brave enough to try a biscuit from the janitor. Biscuit. Don't oh. I don't want make him spell right. Never mind. Go talk to the janitor. Biscuit balls. Get your biscuit balls here. Get them while they're hot. Which one do you think you're supposed to say? Uh, you spelled biscuit wrong. Might be it, but... Correct him and know. What? No, I didn't. How would you even know? You can't even read. Monty can. Uh, is that dweeb with the glasses? Who am I kidding? Of course it is. Hey, nerd! And he dies. Um, what do you want? Got some janitor stuff you want to sell me? No, but I got, I got a coffin for you to buy. I just realized I had a voice for him. This will be a lesson to you for about correcting people's spelling. There. Lessons were learned. Lines were drawn. You're a good kid for letting me know that little monster is going around correcting spelling in a school of all places. Shameful the way kids turn out these days. Yeah, shameful. But you seem to be one of the good ones. Thanks. You can't, you just let old Janitor know if anyone else has anything to say about his spelling. I don't think that will happen again. Oh, the glasses flew off the nerd's face when I hit him. You can have them. These old eyes don't miss a thing. Right. Thanks. Okay, so go mm. talk to the lunch lady. Uh. How you doing? Oh, that's yours. How you doing there, Sonny? Want some tasty and nutritious slop for lunch? Can I go to the bathroom? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not allowed to let any of your kitties out in the hall during lunch. But maybe you could do me a little something if you wanted me to look the other way. Like what? Well, I seem to be a, I seem to have misplaced my glasses. These old eyes can't read the menu without them. See if you can find a pair lying around and I'll let you out. I found these some glasses. Huh? Oh, lovely. Thanks so much. Go ahead and do what you gotta do. I won't stop you. Thanks. Yeah, so basically... By the way, Monty's not dead. Do I... <laughs> what do you say to him? You should just rest now. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not gonna... Alright, so just go over and unscrew it. I can see something behind the air vent, but I need something to unscrew it with. Take the monster moon card. Okay. Um. Okay, here, go into the janitor's room. Can't. Yeah, you can. Oh, shit. I thought I... Oh, right. It's locked now, but it's not locked earlier. Damn it. Uh. Go away, kid. I'm going to yours, right? Go away, kid. I'll get in trouble if the principal hears you. Okay. I mean, you could totally fuck over Lily right now if you wanted to. I mean, is there a reason to, or should I just start saving up money? Um, yeah, you save up money. I realized we need at least five dollars.
read this because you haven't yet. Okay, kitties, that's the Reese's spell. Go burn off all the delicious slop you just ate. We've never been in here when the bell rang. Alright, so... Do we need to do anything here? No, the only way we would, you would get money is selling something to Monty. Which, she's not here anymore, so... Yep, you can just go. Dang it, I think we're like a dollar short, and I know because we took a dollar, we only had like freaking 60 cents left at home. Gosh, dearly dang it. I mean... You can show the Monster Mart card too, that's why I mainly had us go for it. Just because I know the Monster Mart, Monster Mart cards are... She just says that they're, it's unoriginal boring. and boring, yeah. yeah. We've already done that. So just to skip you though, we've already done Screwdriver too. Yeah, I just figure I would look between the two, realize that we've done both, and just clicked one. Damn. If I hadn't had us get the Monster Mon card, we would have had another one. What else? Tornado Fly. Yep. Yeah. 420 blazing, brazen! Alright, well, I'm just gonna do a quick run, uh, I'll see you guys in a moment. <sighs> Alright, so. Okay, you might wanna come back in here because we're gonna do the teacher's route, also, read the card. This is the tornado fly card. This fly can generate tornadoes by flapping its wings. They're not very big because he's a bug. Alrighty. That's, that's just the, the description of Pidgeotto, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, take five dollars. Okay. And then I think we don't need anything else. Let's go! Let's start Monday again. Okay. So Bugs is gonna beat the crap out of you. Yes. And then... You're gonna go... Hold on. Teacher. Yeah. Go talk to the teacher. We've already done this stuff. Yeah. I'm just thinking of what order we have to do it. So say yes. Hmm? Yes. Um, okay. You have to ask her if what's in it for you because it doesn't give you the option to say yes until that point. No, you can say any of them and eventually give you the option to say yes. So just be really mean to bugs for a sec. Man, rip bugs. And then gobber the teacher. Don't, don't accept your fate. Okay. So we okay. got rid of bugs. So that's important. Now you're gonna go talk to Monty. Hmm? No thanks. You're sure? Yes. Okay. Oh wait, fuck. No. We we're supposed to say yes. God damn it, Cassie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, it seemed like the thing that you should say, and then you're just like, no, no, that's not. I messed not. up. I messed up. I'm sorry. Just hurry up and get through it all. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Come see me during morning time, and I'll tell you what to do. See I, don't, you then. I don't remember what I had of voices wise. So now you go talk to Monty. And you're going to buy the voice recorder, which is 250 which is what we needed to bring. The thingy. It's a pretty cool gadget. It can help you keep out of trouble if someone ever accuses you of something you didn't do. It's 250 what do you say? Pleasure doing business with ya. So what do you think we're gonna do now, Gabe? Uh, we can just go in, right? Nope. Go talk to Cindy. Hmm? Go talk to Cindy. Okay. Tell her you want to be her boyfriend. Say, isn't our love enough? <laughs> That's cute, but no, it isn't. You're gonna have to prove it to me. She's just gonna have a Valley Girl accent and here to do that. Okay. Um, How do I do that? Say why. Why? How about because I'm the prettiest, smartest, nicest girl you'll ever meet. Does, does that do it for you? Yeah, that's the right one. Excuse me? I know you did not just say that to me, because if you did, I would have taken... I would have you taken out. How would you do that? No. No? Okay. 
whatever. It's fine. I think we can get there. A girl has her ways. Now, I want an apology or you're going down. Yeah. I'm not apologizing. Fine. You asked for it. I don't want to kill this. What are you going to do? Rape. <laughs> oh, dearie me. What on earth is going over here? I heard someone cry rape. Yes, Miss Applegate. It was me. This boy tried to rape me. Cindy, we've been over this. Boys not wanting to be your boyfriend does not count as rape. But as per the school policy, I have to send you both to the principal. What? You're punishing me for almost being raped? Now you listen to me, you little parasite. You are going to the principal's office. End of story. All right. This is so unfair. We're finally going to see the principal's office. Yeah, yeah. Tell it to the principal. I'm sorry, Bugs, but you leave me no choice but to... Oh, what now? What are you doing? What are you two doing here? He tried to rape me. Great. Well then, Bugs, it looks like you just got off easy this time. Get out of here, little dumpster fire. I'll be seeing you at recess, pal. Okay, you two. Let's get this over with. So you're accusing your little friend here of trying to rape you. Really, Cindy? Yes, sir. I could barely fight him off. I'm going to assume you're going to deny that you raped her. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you actually get a monster mom card if you do that. But we have to say yes. Okay. That's what I thought. Well, since no one witnessed the incident and you don't have any proof, there's not much I can do except separate you two for a while. I recorded the entire incident. Mm -hmm. You did? Well, that makes this a hell of a lot easier. Cindy, do I even have to listen to this, or will you make it easy on yourself and just admit nothing happened? But, but, what? Okay, fine, but he started it. He said I was mean. Not good enough. I think I'm going to have to enjoy not having you in my school for a while, Cindy. I'm going to keep this recorder in case there's any trouble with your off when your awful mother calls. So I can't have it back? No, now why don't you run mom back to class now? I think you've missed enough learning for today. I, yeah, I learned so much in this school. Oh, you're back! Where's Cindy? What's your punishment? None. I had proof I didn't do it. So that means she's gone? Oh, happy day! I'm so sick of hearing all of her nonsense! You would have earned a gold star. Would have? Well, our little ruse didn't get rid of bugs like I'd hoped, but don't worry, there's plenty of time to handle that later. What about Jerome? Ah, uh, yes. The high and mighty Jerome, always talking back to me because his dad is my boss. I think it's time we finally got even with him. How do we do that? The principal has informed me that one of his hall passes has gone missing. I'd bet Nugget's life that Jerome took them. <laughs> <laughs> What's Nugget's life worth to you? Also gave, uh, fudge. Uh-huh. We need a dollar. Fuck. Damn it. So, Cassie just loves doing this. What happened to our money? I forgot. Did we never get our money back from... Bugs? Yeah. You don't. Why wouldn't you? He takes half your money, starts beating you up in the teacher's There's only conference. one way you get the money back. And that's for being nice to him or something? No. Kill him. Why don't we kill him? What? Why don't we kill him? Because it's, it's not... It's in a different, like area than this. You kill him during lunch. <sighs> so, Cassie loves doing this to me, so I'm I'll sorry, be guys. back. Yeah, just like, skip until this point. You know what? Back in this classroom. I, 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 it, can I finish this conversation at least? Okay, fine, yeah. What's Nugget's life worth to you? Not much, but I make a teacher's salary, so even by my student life valuing system, it's still a pretty significant percentage. <laughs> Why don't you just take the pass? I'm not allowed to search a student without probable cause, and lord knows there's no probable cause for searching the principal's son. That's why I need him to give it to you. I can do that. Excellent. Just go over there and get him to give it to you. Okay. <gasps> Wait a second. Try taking money out of one of the cubbies. Damn. No. Alright. Yeah, you gotta restart. How are we gonna do something? Ah, oh, fuck. Right. Restart the room. What? We can't get the yo-yo until next period, then. Oh, have to have that buying something apple. costs money? It costs an apple, yeah. Buying something costs money? <laughs> Time? <laughs> yeah, it does. Shut the fuck out. 
So we have this yo-yo, just like when we hung out with Jerome before. I had 10 cents extra. Mm -hmm. Made me waste money. It's not wasting, it just goes back in your piggy bank How after could the you? over. Okay. Dude, you know you're not cool enough to talk to me, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Monty's gonna hit hook me up with a sweet yo-yo. You mean this yo-yo? Ah, oh, come on, he told me he was gonna save that for me. You can have it if you be my bud. My bud. We already read this stuff. Yeah. You're not you're not actually supposed to do what he wants you to do. Just say I can. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to get the hall pass that he gives me. Yep. And now I just give it to her? Mm-hmm. Give me just a minute, your is distracting me. <laughs> from Jerome. I knew it! Okay. Jerome, you little cockroach! We've been over this! You can't just steal your dad's hall passes! What? You ratted me out to the teacher? Dude! Yes, he did! He's a good little rat! Please stop calling me that. No, because that's what you are! Teacher's special little rat! Just like Jerome is teacher's special little suspended hooligan. Ah, oh, come on! Bro, I thought you were cool! Well, he's not. And because he's so uncool, he gets one of my special gold stars. Now, why don't you go take that pass back to your dad? I'm sure he'd love to know where it went. Man, stupid rat. Getting me in trouble. My dad's gonna kill me. Oh, that was just perfect. You're a natural at this. Let's keep this kid removal train rolling. How? I have a special plan for Nugget. Just befriend the little weirdo by the time recess starts. Okay, I guess. Feel free to get any other kids in trouble while you're in there. You'll have to get creative, though. I'll try. Alright, so now I'm gonna talk to Nugget. Na 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 Nugget. Nugget does not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. Do you want to be friends? Oh, Nugget normally spends morning time alone and eats lunch alone and lives life alone. Nugget supposes you he could be your friend if... If what? You eat this Nugget. That's it? Yes, do this for Nuggets, and we will be friends. Okay. Good. Now remember the taste of the Nuggets. We will dine together at lunch. Nuggets will see you then. Okay. Alright, so, um... Who else do we need to ruin? Him? No. All three of these are next period, so you can just skip to lunch. I really am starting to Wait not trust you. Yeah, here, talk to Miss Applegate first real quick. Okay. I know those three are lunch, but we might have to do something more. Okay. okay, yeah, you could just get Alright. I'll go talk to Nugget again. Buy me jewelry! Buy me jewelry! Nugget is pleased to have returned. Tell Nugget. The nugget you consumed was very tasty, yes? Sure, I guess. You couldn't taste the poison? Wait, what? Nugget poison the nugget. I'm gonna die? Perhaps. That depends on what you do next. Bugs just threw slop at you. Yes, he does that every day. But today, nugget is poison, and you are going to poison bugs for nugget. Why would I do that? Because nugget also has the antidote that will save your life. Okay, how do I poison him? Here is another nugget. It is quite similar to the one you ate, only this one is far more potent. Just get bugs to eat it. Okay, I'll try. Better hurry. Nugget thinks you have until the bell rings before the poison does its work. I hate you. Alright, now go talk to bugs. Get him to eat the nugget! No way, where am I? You's gonna be sitting with me. I need you to eat this. What? Why? What is it? It's a nugget. Yeah, I can see that. Why the heck would I want to eat something you gave me? Because otherwise you look like a sissy. What? Who around here thinks I'm a sissy because I won't eat a stupid nugget? There nuggets? are two correct answers here. Uh, Jerome's cool. Is that correct? Yeah. Jerome's always coming up with stupid competitions. Whatever, I'll show you. Most people think it's just Cindy, but I picked Jerome the first time and it worked, and I was like... Yeah, I figured yeah. Cindy would be the girl that he'd be like, ooh. But Jerome is the cool guy, so... I know how kids work. 
Whatever, I'll show him, Munch. You sure did. Okay. I talk to Nugget. Is it done? Has the bugs been poisoned? It's done. Wonderful. Nugget is quite pleased. If what you say is true, bugs should die any moment now. And there he goes. Here's the antidote as promised. I don't know if this voice is right. Nugget hopes you feel better. Nugget, please come see Nugget at recess. Nugget would like to show you something. Great. All right, now you gotta go talk to Monty. I think just to get the janitor to kill him, so. Do that again. Yeah. You don't need to buy anything. You okay. just need to talk to him. Yeah, I forgot. For some reason, I thought I had to go into there. And then get him dead. Get him killed. You spell biscuit. Wow. Yeah, we did this already, so. Just yeah. get by this. <sighs> yeah, he'll. Like, unless you click, he'll just keep stabbing Monty for, like, ever. That's fine. I'm just trying to get through this. Yeah, shameful. Thanks. Alright, now, yeah. You go turn and give her them so you can leave. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Like, what? I found some glasses. Otherwise, Thanks. you have to pay her, like, 250 to get out. Okay. Now I go get her in trouble with the principal? Yep, just knock on the door. Knock, knock. This is the door to the principal's office. What the? It's lunchtime. Who's knocking on my door? What are you doing? You're gonna get us both in trouble! What are you kids doing out here? You should be in the cafeteria. Lily was eavesdropping on you. If Lily was eavesdropping, then what were you doing? I knocked to let you know. Lily, we've been over this. I had nothing to do with your brother's disappearance. Why don't you step inside my office and we'll talk this over again? I knew it was you! One day I'll prove it! I'm getting real sick of this young lady. Office now! Please excuse me for a moment. Okay, thanks for letting me know about her. I'm sure you heard the recess bell. Why don't you go out and play? Okay. I didn't see anything. Or hear anything. Well done! You got Lily, Monty, and Bugs? That's unprecedented! You earned three gold stars! What about Nugget? Did you manage to befriend the little mole creature? Yes. Excellent. You see that hole he's standing by over there? He's been digging it for a few days now, and I'm pretty sure he's gone straight through the bottom of the box. Wow. Yeah, I would be impressed if it wasn't so dangerous. Unfortunately, I have no way to prove how dangerous it is, and the principal doesn't seem to care. What does this have to do with me with, with me gaining his trust? Because he won't let anyone in the hole who he doesn't trust. That's why you're going down there. Uh, he doesn't trust you? Of course not. He may be weird, ugly, and disturbed, but he's only a little stupid. He knows I'm out to get him. So what do I do? I need you to go down into the hole and find something. It doesn't have to be much, just anything we can use to get him in trouble. Like what? I don't know. Just, I, I just know there has to be something down there. Just go down there and find it. Okay, okay. I mean, there's probably nuggets down there. Good. Come back when it's done. we Will do. Alright, now go talk to Nugget. This is gonna be your first time inside the Nugget Cave! Yep. Thank you for coming as Nugget asked. Nugget does not normally have any friends to show his work to, but today he does. Are you ready to enter the Nugget Cave? Yeah. Excellent. But first, Nugget must do something. What's that? There, now we are ready. Why did you just drop all those nuggets in the hole? So we do not die upon landing. Nuggets and nuggets are as squishy as they are tasty. Now please, enter the nugget cave. I just kind of fall in. Welcome to the nugget cave. Behold its nuggety goodness. Please have a look around. Uh, okay. Alright, you can look around. Uh, oh, that little doggy. Nugget forgot that was there. Is it dead? Yes, it is, but do not fret. Nugget did not do it. Nugget was just digging the Nugget cave when it fell from the sky. Nugget dares not bring it to the surface. It would probably cause trouble. I can just take this, right? Um, yeah, I think you can. I think you have enough actions. You can click that, by the way. What? That right there. 
Hold on, go back over there. You should be able to click that. Huh. I don't know. You can go. You can leave the night cave if you want. You got what you came for. Talk uh, to Nugget. Oh, okay. I really wasn't sure. Are you enjoying your stay here in the Nugget Cave? Yeah, but I'm ready to go. Go show the teacher. Well, what did you find? This dog corpse. Oh my dearie me. Is that... Is that... Is that Cindy's dog? Nugget! What is it, large teacher lady? Did you kill Cindy's dog? Is he about to say, don't you, won't take me alive and jump in the hole again? What? <clears throat> what? No, Nugget would never. Well, not never, but Nugget is relatively harmless. Don't lie to me. Nugget is not lying. Nugget knows it was your janitor who killed the little puppy. I know it was you. No, she pushed me. Okay. Oh my. That was unfortunate. Well, that didn't go as planned, but I'm relatively pleased with the result. You've earned another gold star. Cool. Well, would you look at that? This playground is completely empty. You've gotten rid of all of your classmates and collected six gold stars. So what now? Now I go home early. Don't I get a reward? Oh, right. Your reward. Here you go. Special lunch pass. You can use it anytime you want to have lunch with me. It's my way of protecting my rats for selling out their friends. Thanks. Well, there's no one left to teach today, so I'm going to take off. What about me? Look, kid, either I can earn a gold star or you can start walking home. Choice is yours. <laughs> I'll walk home then. Good, I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles. And I start on walking. Teacher's pet obtained. Got the lunch pass. Got the lunch pass, and we got the monster monk card, wizard worm. Not a lot of money this day. Mm. All right, so I think now we're gonna go for a story progression. This is the wizard worm card, not to be confused with the mage maggot or sorcerer serpent. And I mean, we would do story progression if it wasn't for time for next time on Let's Play Kindergarten. Okay. Why are you looking at me like you're disappointed? This is what we've been doing every other video. I don't know. And do you understand how long this one took? No. It's been 40 minutes. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> well, so once guys, you cut down all the extra stuff. Well, yeah, but it, the episodes are like 15 to 20 minutes, 25 minutes long in that range. So, guys, next time we'll be doing some kind of story progression Next time we're going to do Bugs' route. Okay, Bugs. The fat kid whose dad's an alcoholic who went out for cigarettes and never came back. This is depressing. See you guys next time.